Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 67 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajo. This week we start out by looking at Elio Minky who was promoted just after midnight. He is double passable, winger and passing, and he has inadequate scoring and inadequate set pieces. And HGMS potential of 2006, he'll be listed later today. We'll have to see if we can find another gem such as Menke. So let's go to the scouts and call them up. Giorgio Bellini. First up here, give us something good. Mattia Frisoni, 16 years old. Impressed? Yeah, you might be Bellini, but I'm not. So let's reject him. Okay, Pietro Risaliti, 16 years old here. Filippi Ugolini. And it's quite easy. We don't need 16 year olds. Primo Roman, 16 years old. Gianfranco Lualdi. We will remove this guy from the pool and fire him straight up. Easy job. Unfortunately, an easy job. In the senior training, we just had one relevant pop this time. It was permissible of Kotatko popping from passable to solid. It's been a while since we had a look at the training sheet, so let's take a look at that. So the sheet has been updated with all the values here. You'll see Sanati just shy of 2100 HGMS 28. He was a little higher when he popped, but uh, dropping just below, as you'll see that fluctuate as uh, the days go by. Francioni passing the age of 20 as well. HGMS 28 at 2028. 20, Did look closely at these guys last week, so let's move on to the profit players. I didn't list more than five profit players at the moment. I do have a few more, but they are very temporary and not really worth mentioning in the sheet. Lemity, the goalkeeper, transfer compared approximately at 5.5 million euros here. He has made it to solid defending. Kotatko popping today, solid defending as well. It's a special season and even though the transfer compares might seem a little low now, we might be able to pick up some assets kind of cheap. Still hard to make a, a real good transfer compare for Kotatko. The same goes with Dwayne Duff. He's uh, quite close to his birthday and Jakub Kiva should be popping next week. One more week to go with defending and we'll have to see what we can do with the money we get in from these guys. We have to consider if we can keep both of the goalies here, Nemeti and Bledwowski, simply because we do need to raise the cash for our future wingers pretty soon and it'll be quite expensive. During the midweek we did go to Denmark as we do usually, no extra training this time. It's still not super relevant for us to actually proc the extra training, but from next week on it'll be massive for us since we will be trying to get some extra playmaking training each and every week. So it'll be even more important to actually get ratings that will help us go into extra time and get a little extra training. If you're not aware of this, you can get extra training if you manage to substitute or swap players around for better training. That could be upgrading 50% training to 100% training like in playmaking or even just bringing people into another position like a midfielder into a defense position if you are training defending. Sunday evening we did play against AC Vium Solenfri and unfortunately we didn't have enough in the tank to beat them but we did get one point, 1-1 one, one in that match. No injuries, pretty decent, that's basically the most important thing right now. In the league that means we are 8 points behind Charles Lancia and 6 points ahead of the Unknowns whom we'll play in the final round of the season. The Unknowns do face Charles Lancia in the next round so it does look like we are quite sure of finishing third at this point. Berlin United and Charles Lancia are fighting for title up top just like last season and it might go down to the very last match of the season before we know who will be the champion of IB3 this season. There's just one week left before we swap to playmaking and I've already started pre-scouting a bit in order to see if I can pick up good players to train so hopefully you'll see a lot more action when it comes to transfers in the next episode. In the next episode, we'll also be able to reveal if Nikola Menke sells for more than just 15,000 euros. Let that be a little cliffhanger because at this point, it's about maximizing profits and we need extra money in order to sustain our cycle. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, Hattrick. I'll see you guys soon.